So today I'm going to be talking about, and this video is like long overdue, I'm going to be going over my review of the Norwegian Breakaway. Me, my family, and a couple of my parents' friends, we went on the Norwegian Breakaway in April of this year. And it was our first time going on Norwegian. My parents have gone on MSC, World Caribbean, and a Celebrity. A Celebrity. So they've been on um, World Caribbean, MSC, and Celebrity Cruises. And I've been on World Caribbean and I've been on Carnival. So we've never been on Norwegian. So this was the first time we've been on it. And going in there, like we, like I think, like anybody else, we were going on um, YouTube and looking up reviews, and I didn't see anybody complaining about it really. So, I mean, I just assumed that we were gonna have a good time. Um, I'm gonna try and go through the pros first, and I got it on my phone. So wait, hold on a second. So the pros that I have for the ship are one of them was the food. The food was excellent. Like I have no complaints about the food. The food was really good. Um, we went to, we had a package where we did, like, all the specialty restaurants or whatever. I think we could do, like, three specialty restaurants, um, out of our seven-day cruise. So, that was pretty good. I don't remember what the price is. I'll put the price somewhere in the, in the video. But, the food was excellent. We went to, um, the Moderno Steakhouse. That was really good. That's where they bring all the food to you and they cut it and they carve it at the table for you. That was excellent. It was so, so good. I went to the French restaurant. That was really good. My parents went to um, Cagney's. They said that was the best steak they've ever had in their life. So the food, there was no problem. Even the food at the buffet was really, really good. Um, the number one thing I will say is that um, I would definitely recommend getting the dining package. Any kind of dining package. It could be like you can have a dining package where you go to like all the restaurants or you can just do that three, one, two, or three dining packages or dining uh, three different restaurants you can go to, it doesn't matter, because the, the specialty dining is so, so worth it. It is so good. And the dining package, it, like, to go to each one is really not that expensive. I think for teppanyaki, it was, like, between, most of the places, I think, are between, like, $25 and $35 or something like that. I think the, um, the French restaurant, I think, was maybe, like, 30 or something, and that includes, um, I think, like, an appetizer, an entree, and I don't know if it includes a dessert, but it does include definitely like an appetizer and an entree. So, and with the tepin, with teppanyaki, um, I think it was like maybe $35 and that included, that included, um, the show, it included the show the, at the hibachi, but it included, um, you could pick, I think either like one meat, you can do like a combination of two meats or something. And you could have, you had, um, soup and like a seaweed salad or something. So it includes a lot. Like the dining packages are pretty pretty worth it. Um, another one of the pros was the layout of the ship. I don't, I don't know why. It just like the way that it just flowed together where everything was placed in the ship. I had no problems getting anywhere. Because usually when you're going on like, um, I know on Royal Caribbean, I think on Carnival, you have to take like one elevator to go up somewhere and then you got to walk down a flight of steps and it's like a pain in the butt. But with this one, I didn't really have an issue. And especially, like, if you look on the floor of the Norwegian, um, I don't know if it's all Norwegian ships, but on the Norwegian breakaway, if you look down on the floor, you'll see fish swimming, like, upstream. And when they're swimming upstream, that means you're going toward the front of the ship. So that's a good way of knowing, like, exactly, like, which way you're going in the ship. And I know I've had to use that a couple times when I was on that ship. So I was glad they had that on there because that really helped me a whole lot. Um... The layout of the pool, like, I don't I don't know how it is on, like, Royal Caribbean, but I remember specifically on Carnival, um, I went on the Carnival Conquest, leaving out of, um, Fort Lauderdale, and I remember the layout of the chairs on there, like, around the pool, it just wasn't, like, there was a really limited amount of chairs, like, right in front of the pool, and then all these other chairs were, like, all up on, like, the upper decks, and it was, like, really in the sun and there just wasn't any shade but on Norwegian breakaway a lot of their um a lot of their chairs was like covered like by like um like the upper level of the of the ship 
so a lot of the chairs was in the shade and I love that I love that a lot and it just seemed like the way that they had everything set up around the pool was just so much better they had um, the water slides together they had the kiddie pool right there then they had another pool like on the same deck like it was just the way that it was laid out was awesome one thing I do like about Norwegian is um, the fact that they have binders for your photos I do like that idea instead of like going on like um, I know with carnival they have all your photos based on your um your um like the location of where it was taken at like your dining room or it could be like when you were first getting on the ship or something like that or when you're at um your port of uh, I think it's called port of call when you go to like I don't know the Bahamas or something like whatever like you know what I'm talking about they got the pictures all on like the walls and everything like that and you gotta like search like through each and every one and look for them but on Norwegian you can just go through the binder you have your own binder for the whole vacation and you can just go through it and look through the pictures that you want throw away the pictures you don't want go to the front desk give it to them and that's pretty much it I think for me I think it was like I want to say fifty dollars for about like 10 pictures but I'm gonna put the exact price somewhere down here But um, the price wasn't horrible. Um, the pictures that they took were really, really good. Like, I love the pictures they took. Um, so that was a plus. I do like their photo photo system. They had a, like, ballroom-type dancing thing that they had. They have um, an escape room in there. The one thing that I really did, like, I loved the show that they put on in um, the circus tent thing. It was like a... Cirque du Soleil type of thing, and that was really cool. That was a whole lot of fun. But Night Club was okay. I liked some of the um, parties that they had. They had um, different decade parties at night, like on different um, different nights of the week or whatever. Like one night they had, I think it was like Latin night. Then they had 90s night, which I love because I'm a 90s baby. Um, then they had a white whiteout party where you had to get dressed in all white and go to that. Um, their private island, their private island was really nice. Great stir K, that was really nice. Um, to be completely honest, I can't think of any other pros for Norwegian Breakaway, because I did not enjoy this cruise that much compared to all the other cruises I've been on. I've been on, like I said, Royal Caribbean, I've been on Carnival, and compared to those two, I would not go back on Norwegian Breakaway, and I'm going to tell you why. The number one thing that I did not like was the service. I think with anyone, when you're going on vacation, you wanna make sure that the staff is always welcoming, they're always friendly, they wanna make you feel like you're on vacation, they wanna be able to cater to you and make sure that you're having a good time, that you're relaxing and all that, right? I feel like everybody wants that on a vacation. So I'll, like, I'll start from the very beginning. When we got on there, you know, usually um, on Royal Caribbean and any other ship they have like people lined up for you when you're first getting on the ship right like they have all these balloons they have a big welcome party they're playing music and all that when I got on the ship there was none of that there was literally maybe like two or three balloons in the walkway where we were walking there was nobody there to greet us and it was just like is this really what we're walking on the ship to like it was just like no welcome party no nothing like it was crazy and then come to find out my sister because she was staying on another part of the ship she got on at a different different entrance than we did so come to find out that they had at another location on the ship where people were walking on they had people greeting everybody they had music going on they had balloons it was just more welcoming than the entrance that we walked into and i'm just like why couldn't you do that on our entrance too like it was really weird and when we were first walking on we did walk by one um one staff member and he didn't even like say hi or anything he just walked right by us like we were like nothing like are you serious I hear Mike go straight ahead. Oh, thank you. So thank you. Oh, I love you too. Can you get this? Uh, when you get this? Yeah, Rick, can you get the stroller since your hands are empty? What do we need to do? Yes. Oh. Oh.
to wherever the concert is. <laughs> So that, um, and even like the next couple days we were on the ship, my sister had a horrible experience with somebody at, of all places, customer service at like the guest relations desk on the ship. She said that she was, she was so rude. She was just short with her. She was giving her attitude, just all these things. And it's like, I, you don't want to experience this stuff on any, any vacation. Like it was just crazy. And just like, again, like, I'm just remembering all these times when people was just short with me. It was like every single time, like, I was encountered with somebody that was on staff. It was just rude, short, real nasty kind of answers. And I'm just like, why is this? What? I remember when I was getting my pictures, um, and I was trying to explain to this girl, like, or this lady, excuse me, that I wanted to get my pictures. And just, just the way that she responded was just... just the way that it was said, it was just nasty and just with attitude. I'm like, why are these people like this on the ship? Like, I don't understand it. Like, it's just, I just want to be re re um, responded to with just politeness. Like, it's just not, it's not that hard. Like, I don't, the main thing with me is that the service just really, really turned me off. Like, I can't stress to you enough how just nasty and how many different occasions, like, there was just like, just rudeness. From the staff and it was it surprised me because i'm like you're working on a cruise ship where people are coming to you and they want to have a good time so why are you getting short with your with your customers it just makes no sense to me if you're going to be short like that maybe you shouldn't be working on a cruise ship like i don't i remember my sister was telling me some other time she wanted to sign up for the escape room and she was just asking basic questions to the guy that was working there and he was just giving her attitude and all this i'm just like why is this necessary like you guys are turning me off of your your brand like, I don't, it, it was just crazy. You guys can disagree with me, but this is what I experienced. And it was just throughout the whole cruise. Like, it was just, eh. Like, I didn't feel like the staff was just, like, really accommodating, just going above and beyond to make you feel, like, comfortable and making sure that you're okay, that you're taken care of. I encountered maybe, like, one or two people that did that. Like, the person that, um, my stateroom attendant, like, he was really nice, um, the stateroom attendant on my grandmom's floor, he was really nice. But I mean, other than that, like I would walk by him. They didn't say hi. They didn't smile or anything. They just ignored me. I'm just like, this is ridiculous. Like it was just like little stuff like that is what makes a difference on a vacation. And I feel like Norwegian did not do that at all. So the one thing I forgot is that the, 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 like it's so crazy. Like I can't even get it out. The drink package is insanely expensive. Like I think for the whole trip i think the dining package in and of itself was like three hundred dollars or something crazy like that and i'm just like what the heck is that like it was like it didn't even make any sense to get a dining package like it was just it's crazy um it would just be more worth it to just go down there and get like a drink a day like it was just it was crazy to me i gotta put like all like the definite um prices and everything right right down here somewhere but i just remember the dining package the drink package for the whole trip was just way too expensive like it was just it was insane. Um, I don't remember about the water package. Because I know my parents did get the water package. And I don't remember how much that was. Another con that I don't like about Norwegian is that they charge for everything. Like, it is crazy. Like, on Carnival, they have an app right, where you're able to communicate with everybody that's on the ship, you're able to, um, I'm not sure if you're, you can reserve anything on the, on the, um, Carnival app, but I know they give you, they probably give you, like, times and itineraries or everything that's going on on the ship, right, and Norwegian has the same kind of app, but Carnival, it's free, you don't have to pay anything for it, you can just download the app on your phone and sign in and you're all good. Norwegian, for one, you have to pay, one, when you first got on the ship, I think it was maybe, like, three bucks, three dollars or something like that to um set it up but as soon as we set sale it went up in the price and you had to pay seven or eight dollars or something like that for it and i'm just like what what is this like this is just crazy it was that and then you know how you have like an onboard account right like because you can't use um cash on the ship so on any other ship i don't 
I don't ever recall having to have a minimum in your account on any cruise ship. But Norwegian, you have to have a minimum of, I believe it's like something ridiculous, like $300 or something like that. I'm like, what the heck is that? I'm like, what is this? I'm already paying to get on the ship and then you want me to put like a minimum of... <laughs> oh yeah, wow. <laughs> I'm already paying to get on the ship and then you want me to put down a minimum of $300 in my account? Are you kidding me? And half the time you're not even going to use any of the money in the account. So I just thought that was just insane. That was just crazy. But, and um, another thing is, in my opinion, and I think my parents are going to back me up on this, the Norwegian Breakaway in itself is a really, really big ship. I think the capacity for it is like 4,000 passengers or something crazy like that. And they only have... I believe I read somewhere they only have like a thousand staff members or something, which is insane to me. Like they don't have like at least like half the amount of staff members that they need for to accommodate like the passengers on the ship. So if you think about that, there's not a whole lot of staff members that are there to assist you with a whole lot of things. Right. So it's like when we went on the first night to um, the Manhattan room, like the main dining hall where you sit down and people come to you and give you food or whatever. It took us forever to get our food. It was crazy. We had a reservation and everything. We got seated on time. We got seated on time. And trust me, I'm not complaining. I'm not trying to point out small things, but I'm just being honest, and I'm telling you what happened with me on this cruise. So we got seated in the Manhattan room. We got seated on time. And one person came over first and sat us down and was saying he's going to be right back to get our drink order and all that. We waited, I don't know how long, we waited maybe at least like 20 minutes and nobody came back to the table. And when they did come back to the table, it was someone different. So it's just like, where was our original waiter? Like, what, what is this? So we give them um, our order, like we get our drinks and we order our food. And we, I kid you not, we did not get our food until like at least like an hour later. And somebody had to ask, somebody had to flag somebody down who wasn't even our waiter. They had to flag them down and say, where is our food? Who wasn't even at our table because we had two different tables. So somebody from our, uh, our other table had to flag someone down and tell them that we didn't get our food yet. And it's just like on the first night, like I don't want to be experiencing this. I want to be able to just relax and calm down on my first night on a cruise. And it was just like it was so, so stressful. It was really, really annoying. And then um, just all around, I and you know what, maybe it's because we left out of a certain port, because we did leave out of New York, so maybe that makes a difference, I'm not sure. Maybe we got to leave out of like Miami or Fort Lauderdale with Norwegian, I don't know. But my parents have told me that one of their friends went on a Norwegian cruise, leaving out of Seattle or Alaska or something like that, and they said the exact same thing, that the customer service was just horrible. So that's just my experience. You don't, You can bash me if you want, but that's what I experienced. I don't pull stuff out of my butt. Like, oh, this is all everything that I experienced on Norwegian. I'm just saying, I would not, I would try Norwegian again, maybe out of a different port, but I, I, I'm completely turned off on Norwegian. I don't know. I'm trying to think of anything else I can think of that's like a, a pro, because I don't want to make it seem like I'm just bashing Norwegian, but I mean, <sighs> um, Even like, oh, I forgot about this. This is another bad thing. But even getting off the ship was like ridiculous. I don't know if this is Norwegian's fault or if this is um, the New York Manhattan Terminal's fault. I'm, I'm not sure. But getting off was a pain in the you know what. It was ridiculous. Like just everything just looked like just one big mess. Like I don't even remember what happened. I just remember getting off of the ship. One, I think we got off the ship late, and I heard that people that were supposed to be getting off the ship after us got off the ship maybe, like, two hours late or something crazy like that. Like, they weren't calling people. Like, you know how you have to have, like, a scheduled time of when um, you get off the ship? They weren't calling people for that specific time till like, maybe, like, two hours after their scheduled time. And I'm just like, what, what are you, Norwegian, what are you doing? Like, I don't, it was just, like, it was crazy to me. But you know what? Let me go get my mom and dad and ask them to. Wait. <laughs> oh, oh.
And we're recording right now. You're not live. Don't uh, record it. We're live? No, you're not live. Oh, well, I was supposed to say. <laughs> no. It's, I'm sorry. It's been, how long has it been? Uh, April, April, May? Mm-hmm. So was that three, four months? And, and I'm sorry. We, we just have so much going on. I, I really forgot. Um, I was saying, I went through, I told him that I liked the food. The food was really good. I hadn't had no problem with that. Did you remember you were saying about Cagney's? You said that was like the best. Oh, yeah. We, we, we did enjoy the food. Cagney's, we, we enjoyed their Brazilian thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I, Brazilian I, thing I enjoyed Tapanyaki. Yeah. I, yeah, that's, I, yeah, no, that I forgot awesome. about that. Yeah, Tapping now that because I was telling I was telling them that the service on the ship was just not not that great to me. But in teppanyaki, I forgot about this. The guy that was doing teppanyaki, the one that was doing hibachi yeah. in front of us, mm-hmm. he was awesome. Like, I love very and awesome. he was awesome. amazing. He uh, and uh, sure. what made it bad. <laughs> what yeah. made it bad for me in teppanyaki was um, they they had the cool waiter. And I had to go sit somewhere else because it was too many of us. Um, so that that kind of hurt me. But that is the one thing. If you're going to teppanyaki with a big group, you're going to have to be separated, separated into like yeah. two different tables. Because yeah. I think, what did they seat like? Well, it could have said us, but we didn't make the right, the right reservations because oh. it was like 16. Okay. Okay, so okay. yeah, the, the table sits about yeah. 16. Yeah, 16. Okay. Yeah. So. Food for thought, 16 people at teppanyaki. Yeah. But, um, but it was it's it's worth every penny. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Awesome. Also, what I didn't like when we had entertainment. There's a um, what do you call that area? A basic area where everybody goes for entertainment is in very limited seating. There's nowhere for you really to like sit. where there was the ballroom thing where they did bingo. I, I think she's talking like about near dancing? the. I think she's talking about near the uh, the customer service desk. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 And There's like you said, they had like mainly like okay, they had um. What's it called? The atrium? Yeah. Is that yes, where it was? that's it. The atrium. Um, where guest services is at and all yeah, that right, kind of stuff. Right. They had like all like the really, really popular game shows that they put on the TV in your room. They had like uh, the marriage game, the newlywed game. They had um, different uh, different like game shows or something like that where people had to like do uh, like competition dancing, dancing and all that. Yeah. And my mom said there was really like no seating. There was maybe like what, like a couple... Um, they had two yeah, seaters yeah, or something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. in there. One seater, one seat. Yeah, yeah. So if you want, but you know what? There was. Um, yeah, is that the place where they had seating on the the top row? Like, yeah, on the top it was So if you guys want to see like a game show there, upstairs. that's particularly in the atrium. Um, either yeah, get like a seat upstairs in um Oshihans, or sit like get your seat early on that bottom that bottom level because yeah. there's going to be like no seating. You no. had to sit on the floor. For like a lot of the stuff that we went to last minute, yeah. so that, that's okay. a really good point. Okay, just for clarity's sake, what she's saying is the uh, if, if I can't remember exactly, but um, customer service is either on the fourth or fifth deck. Um, you want to go the next level up, mm-hmm. um, which would be um, five or six. Yeah, and, and they have seating all around. Uh, like right at the balcony. Yeah, like right, right in the, the uh, right near the, the stairs and around around the, mm-hmm. the balcony area, so we you can look down. And, and that's probably that would probably be your your best bet because that's. Yeah, but you know, if you wanted to be a part of it, you would have to. The, 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 yeah, you yeah. would need, need yeah. to sit right down there on the on yeah. the floor level, but um, um, the fifth or sixth floor and, and getting a seat right there and having your chair right by um, uh, the action is, is good right there in and of itself. What about the room? Um, I, I had no complaints about the room. The room was amazing. Oh no, <laughs> my we had a cab. My mother had a cabin because she's wheelchair bound. Um, she had a, a wheelchair accessible room, which um, was in the very rear of the ship, uh, which was not a problem because this was not like your standard yeah. uh, um, cabin, um, um, cruise cabin. This was more like a real hotel room. We had plenty yeah, of huge, space in that huge. room. It was awesome. Um, we didn't have like a whole family in that room like, the, whole sh- the whole time on the cruise. <laughs> That's where the party was. That the was, whole yeah, family. Yeah. <laughs> and friends. Yep. But there, there was, it was not a, a cruise cabin. It was a hotel room. What, what about y'all room? That was, that was, you know, it was You weren't in it. You weren't. Yeah, I had to take I that. Know, it was nice. It was, it was, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's standard. 
Yeah, it, it, it was nice. We had a chair, yeah. the couch, which I like. We had a chair. <laughs> it's, it's standard cruise. I mean, you, you see, oh, it's almost to the point where you see one, you see them all. And on the MSC, we had a, a, a little difficulty because we uh, um, we didn't have a couch in our room, and I have a really bad back, and I can't sleep in bed for a long time. So I got up at three and four o'clock in the morning, going up on the on the on the decks because I can't I can't lay in the bed anymore. But um, a cabin, for the most part, a cabin is a cabin is a cabin, except if you have a wheelchair accessible cabin. I, I know. With Excuse me, me I got to cook. With me and MJ, um, my uh, three-year-old son, we got a ocean view on um, the fifth floor, so it just had the window in the room. And to me, it was plenty of space for me and um, me and my son. I didn't have any complaints about the room. So... But is there anything? Is there anything else? Like, well, I was so. Wait, what happened with getting off of the ship and there was people that had to get off like two hours late or something? Something crazy oh, well, like that. When we got back to, yeah. to New York, yeah, it was a mess. But I don't know what the reason. Uh, um, oh, we don't know what the reason was. We just got back. We, okay. Turn that off. For whatever reason, um, it was a mess getting off the getting off the ship um, um, when we were um, disembarking. I, I mean, it, it was a mess. Um, it just seemed so disorganized. Like, was, when we got was, down there, it seemed like everybody was just running around, like and not really knowing where everything was going. Luggage was flying this way and that. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, it was dis it was it was so disorganized that um, we it was 16 in our park. It was a 16 or more than that. Okay, it was 16 in our party, um, and and two didn't get. I mean, we were on, we were actually on the bus and ready to go home, and it was oh, two. Yeah. yeah, it was two. Um, two in our group were still on the cruise mm -hmm. on the on the ship trying to get off. They wasn't the same. And, and um, they, they could, they Me, would Lauren, not Rick, let them yeah. off and, until uh, the Rick had to get nasty. Lauren, Lauren. Rick, Rick ain't safe up. Lord, 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 not safe up. Uh, yeah, he had to get nasty. And, and I think it was because everybody was just leaving at the same. That's what it was. Everybody was trying to get off around the same time, and it, the lines just got ridiculously long. But don't so you? Oh I mean, no, because Norwegian they do the pick, pick your own thing pick instead own, of like World Caribbean and Car yeah. Carnival where and they you, give you the time, time for you. Exactly. You get to pick it. So I guess everybody that's needs to get off at the same time. But I mean. Uh, they should be prepared for stuff like that. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, that's that's just me. They need to be prepared for stuff like that. I think part of it. I think part of it. And excuse me, and I don't mean to disrespect anybody. But part of it was New York. We had problems getting on the ship when we got there. We got we had problems getting off to the point where um, we had problems getting off. Yeah, we um, Jazz was way over oh, here oh, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. She was a Loretta was that way, yeah. and you know we got some people going on midship, and we were in the front, and and you know we had we, different interests for everybody. Yeah, and then we were trying. We thought that we were going to be, you know, we're a group. We figured we would be sticking together, but we were all mixed up, and we um, caught up to each other later on. But um, um, yeah, and, and, and um, you know, New York wasn't the most. And I'm sorry, I don't mean any disrespect to anybody, but New York was not my favorite, uh, my, my favorite port. Only because I think New Not York in itself, New York. yeah, they New York are. in and of itself, everybody knows is like crazy, crazy busy, like all the time. Yeah. So I just feel like it's obviously going to happen at the cruise terminal too, because New York is already like kind of congested and busy in, in right, and Right, right. I, I understand so. that, it, but it wasn't. It, it's my complaint. Not isn't necessarily how busy it was. It was. Um, not as professional as you, yeah, you would like to, yeah, to, to see, yeah. and, and I'll leave it at that. I don't, to me, like, it just seems like with Norwegian, it just seems like there's these little things that they don't really tell you that kind of add up. And to, to me, me personally thinking that I don't want to go back on a Norwegian Norwegian cruise again. Like, just with, like, the um, the drink package being so expensive. Not that I drink, drink a lot, but just with the... Um, the drink package, just with the you having to pay for the app, and it's just like um, plus the service, like it was, just, and, and plus putting like the minimum three hundred dollars into your cash account. It was just like all this stuff. It's like, thank God I had the money <laughs> for the cash account because if I I didn't see that anywhere on their website when you had to put down like a minimum of three hundred dollars in your account. That's just crazy to me. 
I don't even remember how I found out. I remember going there and I think it was my sister and my mom telling me you had to put a minimum of 300 in your account. I'm like, what the heck is that? Like, but I don't, I don't know. To be honest, I, I'm sticking with Royal Caribbean and, and Carnival. That's pretty much it. I'll, I'll try, um, and I want to try MSC because their new ship, um, the Seaside, looks just amazing. And from what my parents have showed me from when they went on the MSC Davina, that looks absolutely gorgeous. So I want to do that, but I might try Norwegian again because I'm not one of them people where I'm like one and done. I will try it again, but I'm really close to saying like no on Norwegian. Cause, and that's a lot for me to say because usually I give people a ton of chances. Like one one time I'm not really going to be freaking out about it, but it's just like all the, and it, again, it wasn't nothing big, like nothing big that Norwegian did. It was just a bunch of little small things that was adding up to me thinking like I would, re I really don't, it, it wasn't worth it to me to try and go on Norwegian again. And I promise y'all, I'm not one to be complaining about everything. I don't look for like little things to complain about. I'm not that kind of person at all. Like I'm someone that is completely positive. I don't want to be looking for the negative and everything. I just want to enjoy myself on vacation. And maybe it's because I'm used to like a certain type of cruise because I've only been on World Caribbean and Carnival. So maybe I'm just, my expectations for cruises are on a different level than Norwegian is or something. I don't know. But from what I experienced on Norwegian, it just did not have me thinking like I really want to go back on a Norwegian, on a Norwegian cruise. Just like everything about it just it was not... It just wasn't like that great to me, to be honest. And I'm not the only one thinking this. Like everybody that I was with, all 16 of us was thinking the same thing. And we're not hard people to please. We're not like bougie or nothing like that. We're not like thinking that we're higher, higher um, better than anybody else or anything like that. We just want to have a nice vacation. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think about Norwegian. Maybe it was just that particular trip. I don't know. Maybe that particular trip just wasn't really that great or something like that. Because I know... On Facebook, I was a part of a group that was going on that Norwegian breakaway cruise, and somebody else said the same thing. They just didn't think that the the customer service was that great. So maybe comment below. Let me know about your experiences on Norwegian. It doesn't even have to be the breakaway. It could be on another ship like the Getaway or the Bliss. I know the Bliss is new with breakaway. So just let me know what you guys think. Like maybe maybe you guys have a different experience. So I, I, I don't know. Just let me know expect to see more videos for um, I'm trying my best to kind of like upload more traveling content because I do want this to be Christian based travel vlogging and I want to give you guys like my experiences with going places and I want to take you guys along with me when we go to certain places so and if you guys are not following me on Instagram please go to Instagram and follow me it's his doc ambassadors on Instagram but um, thank you for watching. I hope that you guys subscribe to my channel. And if you don't know Jesus as your savior, and if you have any questions, then please let me know because this is exactly what the channel is for. It's not mainly for travel. I want you guys to see what happens when you put Jesus first. So just stay tuned. Stay tuned for all the other places that he's taking me to, like Disney, like Germany next summer, which will be amazing. Um, I am a Disney fanatic, so I cannot wait to show you guys what's going to happen um, at Disney. It's going to be me, my mom, my dad, my son, and a whole bunch of his cousins. It's going to be at least, like I think, like 20 of us going down to Disney. And this is like the first trip of us like going away, like doing something this big in like 30 years or something like that. Like the last time they went. And I'll, I got to post a video for you guys about... Um, that story when my parents went to Disneyland but anyway it's like a 30 year anniversary of when they last went to Disney World so just stay tuned for that and subscribe and I hope you guys have a really blessed Sunday and a really blessed week love ya